question is get my uh, get my top five battle rappers I should have been there this one <clears throat> top five no particular order you get well outside of Mook because I never technically seen Mook in the bigger days ever lose I haven't seen him lose even though he be subpar sometimes the, his opponent don't rise above him on that occasion they choke up because it's murder Mook gotta go with Mook Goods was my favorite, favorite, favorite battle rapper, but he don't drop enough. He ain't consistent enough for me. I'm sorry. He moved to my number three, to be honest with you. My number one is Surf, of course. I'm, but I'm saying, outside of my opinion and my love for Surf, Moot number one, he got the throne. But my favorite battle rapper is Sue Surf right now. That boy is in his bag. That boy is in his bag. Geechee said something so-called, though. He's, he say, uh, surf in his bag. Yeah, I know. I zipped it up. He, the first two rounds was crazy back and forth, but you could tell, even though Geechee Gotti, like a, a, a top tier rapper, you could tell that it's just another step above that. It's the Jordan level. It's the Jordan level. You got Kobe, you got LeBron, but it's the Jordan level. It's just different. It's just way different. That boy in his bag in his third rounds got way, way more fire. And even when his third rounds was kind of this still the first two was just 200 round clips. Surf hard. Goods, of course. I like goods. Smooth, control the room, flow laid back. Good. Gotta go with Geechee Gotti. Love Geechee, man. He be in his bag sometimes too, bro. He be in his bag. He he good. Hopefully he only get better. He stay consistent and keep dropping for real, for real. Surf. Just got him, unfortunately. But uh, so we got Moot, Surf, Goods, Geechee. That's my Mount Rushmore right there. Number four. You, I mean, number five. You could give it to Lord Lux, but Lord Lux too inconsistent. After the Calico joint, he just plummeted. It wasn't the same at all anymore. He a legend. Don't get it twisted. The What he did to Calico was horrible. Calico not the same no more. You could get Calico to number five at one point in time, but he just not the same no more after what Lux did to him. I seen him elevate a little bit more with T-Rex, but I think he had just more of an angle with T-Rex. And T-Rex, I, I say T-Rex, but Hitman Holler. I don't think Hitman Holler just had enough savvy for him and you could poke holes in a hitman character because he is a college student both parents so on and so forth that don't mean you ain't savage from the streets it just mean it's kind of hard to believe right so you could give him that number five k shine at one point but all these ghost writing rumors about him and he ain't, we ain't seen no more professor sign we ain't seen it, it hard as that bro i ain't gonna lie to you I like Easy to Block Captain. He coming up. That boy is hard. I don't like new guy, but Easy to Block Captain hard. So who can we get that number five spot to? Who? I like um, Fat Boy, Charlie Clips. But I don't like too many jokes, like funny jokes. In, in a battle rap, I, I like all that serious stuff and whatnot. Who get the number five? Who? Drop some comments. I know some of y'all battle rap guys on this page because we don't had this conversation before. If I got to give a number five today, I'm going to just put... I'm going to put Tay Rock there. Tay Rock being his bag. And you already know that's the best tag team. Tay Rock and Surf. That's the best off bill. Them niggas. Them, y'all got me saying the end. My bad. Them boys is hard. Them boys is Paul Walker. That just mean crash whips. Let's play a game. Like, bro, that was mad creativity, bro. Punchlines, schemes, flow. Them boys is. 
Them boys is animals, man. They're my top five battle rappers, bro. And I put a lot of facts behind what I was saying. Peace and blessing be to y'all, man. Big five. Easy to block, Captain. That's the one to watch out for. That 